Hello, my beautiful Martians. Welcome or welcome back to my planet, also known as a channel, whatever you want to call it. If you are new here and you're into vlogs, makeup, reviews, and how-tos, then you're in the right place. And I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would mean a lot. As you know, or most of you know, subscribing helps us YouTubers out a lot. And lastly, if you hit the little bell, you'll get notified as soon as I upload a video. And who wouldn't want that? It has been a hot minute since I have made a YouTube video. One month to be exact. A lot has been going on in my planet. Just so much. I am gonna tell you all about it. So today's video is gonna be mostly talking while doing my makeup, very little music, if mus any music at all. I probably won't be playing any music. My Alexa is giving me an issue. Alexa. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. I'm connected to the internet though. As you can tell, my makeup is already done. If you're digging this look, then keep on watching. <laughs> I have no makeup on, none, and I have dark circles. Really bad. Just ignore that, okay? Okay. I have caught a mouth really bad. You can hear it my dog. Why? And I talk. You can hear my cotton mouth. Not these again. All right, so I have never ever tried BH Cosmetics and I've heard a lot of great things. I've also heard a lot of eh things, but that's normal. They were recently having a really good sale and I was like, why not get two palettes and some brushes? Not that I need any more palettes. I have a lot. A lot. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I have OCD. When I obsess over something, I have to get a million of that thing. Like Fortnite, I'm obsessed and addicted. And I actually just counted this morning and I have 88 skins. And we started playing this year. So when I love something, I go crazy. So I got two palettes, like I said, by BH Cosmetics and I got five brushes individually sold not in like a brush set or anything. This is the first palette. This is the second. Very colorful, obviously, you can see that. Now, the reason that I bought these two palettes in particular is because I have been following this new makeup artist on Facebook and Snapchat and YouTube and Instagram and basically all social media handles. Her name is Bianca. And on Facebook, it's Beauty by Bianca and then like her Instagram and her other platforms are Bianca Loves Makeup. I will put all of her handles in the description box so you guys can check her out. Not only is she super talented and her makeup skills are impeccable, but she is gorgeous. And I mean like wowza. I love watching her videos. She's easy to listen to. I mean, sometimes her kids are kind of like crazy in the background and it's kind of annoying, but she's not hiding that. She's just being her authentic self. She's got kids, she's a mom, they're in the background. That's normal life. She has discount codes too for BH Cosmetics, but of course, my dumb ass, I forgot to use her code. So she did this orange and green makeup look, real Nickelodeon vibes, loved it. And she used these two palettes, plus another one that I actually have to do the look. So I was like, I'm gonna recreate this awesome look and I'm gonna buy the exact palettes that she has. I'm gonna do it. But I just recently did a green and orange look with the Morphe Fierce by Nature palette and it turned out so good. I was impressed with myself. And I will pop in that picture right here so you guys can see what it looks like. Yeah, so I already did a green and orange look. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna do another one, obviously, at least not for a while. And I do have inspiration for why I'm creating this look with these colors. I'm not gonna show you my inspiration until the end of the video. I will show you where I got it from, what the picture is that I'm going off of, and why I'm using this to create this look. I'm starting this new thing and I'm really excited. It's gonna be super, super fun to start doing. And this is gonna be my very first one. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so before I get into the makeup look, I'm just gonna open up both of these, show what they look like, go over the names. 
you know the drill. So the first one is called Take Me Back to Brazil. Just the packaging is real fun and colorful. Also, don't mind my nails. I obviously need to get them filled. Life right now is crazy. And Florida is currently the cesspool of cases. Ah, coronavirus! Coronavirus! <laughs> Anyways. 35 color pressed pigment palette. Capture the excitement of Rio's carnival wearing intense brights from this Take Me Back to Brazil 35 color pressed pigment palette. A rainbow of super pigmented, buildable, blendable mattes, satins, and shimmers that make a stunning statement. It is cruelty free, which is a huge plus for me. Ooh. I love when the packaging looks the same as the outside packaging but it's a, like a little bit different and i really like this i'm going to be completely honest and say that i am very very shocked at how small this is online it made it look a lot bigger um, especially the pan sizes did not look this small online like look how small those are compared to my fingernail this one is called midnight festival it is a 20 color shadow and pressed glitter palette i can't even talk fuel your glam fantasies this festival season with the midnight festival 20 color shadow and pressed glitter palette the vivid mix of bright and smoky cool hues and matte shimmer and pressed glitter finishes lets you create the next level eye looks perfect for dancing from dusk till dawn under the gleaming neon lights <laughs> So obviously this is what it looks like. This was completely open. So you were looking at the palette. I really like how the names of the eyeshadows are on the side, like going around it. That's really cool. So what I'm gonna do, because this is my favorite part, I'm gonna read the names real fast. Um, but I do wanna say this one, I'm disappointed again. There are no names. I hate that. So how they have this all set up is the glitters are along the top and then down the side. These are all of the pressed glitters. And then the mattes are in the inside. Left to right, fantasy, laser, wonderland, Eufor euphoria, firework, dance, star, bubbles, experience, and jewel, main stage, after party, beat drop, techno, sparkler, ferris wheel, daisy, whew, that's pretty, bass, <laughs> nocturnal, and noise. And now the brushes, I got five of them. I just picked random ones that looked good that I think that I would like a lot. If I do like these, then I will purchase a brush bundle because on their website they have tons and tons of brush sets that come with a brush bag and they have all different styles and colors and some really 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 cute ones that i was eyeing you can you can never go wrong with a brush bag because you can use it as a makeup bag and some of them you can even use as a clutch when you leave and go out or go to the store or go shopping or go out to dinner or whatever i can't tell you how many times i've used a makeup bag for my purse for when I go out. I got four black box ones and one like a silver. And the difference, oh, okay. The ones in a silver box are vegan and the ones in a black box are not. Also, the ones in the black box are labeled as a Studio Pro brush. And this one is not. And even though these are not vegan, they are cruelty free, it says on here, so that's good. The first brush that I got, it says brush number six, blending crease. It's just a real nice fluffy crease brush. I like the handle a lot. It's got that like rubber grip on it. I am gonna be using these brushes. I really, really hope those eyeshadows are pigmented and easy to blend because if they're not, then my eye look is gonna be crappy. So the next one I have here is brush number five, pointed crease. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I ended up getting two of them. You can never have too many crease brushes or blending brushes. This one is brush number nine, small flat shader. It's a good packing brush. And then the last one, brush 
B7, obviously the V is vegan, and it is a concealer brush. If my lighting keeps looking like it's changing and I'm getting brighter and darker, I have the window open to let in the natural light because I literally will not make a video unless there is sun outside for natural light. I was gonna make the video yesterday, but it started storming and it got so gloomy that it was almost dark outside. And I tried making the video and even though I have a ring light and a light in here, it wasn't enough. It was just way too dark. The video quality would have looked crappy even though I do have it on 4K and 60 FPS. It still would have looked bad. This one's a lot bigger also than I thought. I like the smaller concealer brushes because I use them for doing my cut crease. I don't really use concealer um, brushes for under my eye. I should though. I mean, this would be perfect for it. And it's just a nice, sleek, shiny silver. Um, I probably more than likely will be using some of my other brushes because five is really not enough for me for doing an eye look. Before I use every brush, I'll make sure to tell you exactly what it is. And per the usual, I will pop in all of the description of all the brushes, the eyeshadow palettes, the links to where you can get it, etc., etc., in the description box. So if you want to purchase it, you can do it. I think I need coffee. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my eyeshadow look. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this video is going to be mostly me talking while doing my makeup about what I've been going through, what I've been dealing with, what's been going on. I'm going to need some coffee. You're probably like, are you pregnant? Why are you eating that with coffee? But I'm weird. I like what I like. I like it when I want it. I want it when I like it. <laughs> I want what I want and I get it. I am like so paranoid that these palettes are not going to be easy to blend and they're going to get all muddy because the look that I'm doing, I'm going to be using like four or five different colors. So let's prime my eyes. Per my usual, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm using this concealer brush, Cara Cosmetics, it's a number three, and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid and all the way up to my brow bone. This stuff lasts forever. I don't know about you if you use this on your face, but I strictly use this on my eyes to prime my eyes, and for my face, I use something completely different that is made specifically for minimizing pores. I love that like blurred effect. I'll bring you guys closer when I actually start with the eyeshadow. I've been trying to grow my eyebrows out and trying my hardest not to pluck them and it is so hard especially when you see a little one like growing in and it just looks out of place but I've been trying my hardest to just let it be because how they are right now they're way too thin I don't like that mine used to be a lot thicker not like bushy or anything but just fuller a little trick that I do when it's starting to get all like Afraid, I guess, you know, and these are kind of hard. You just pinch it like that and it's back to being flat and it makes it a lot softer. It's starting to get really gloomy outside because it's been raining on and off for like three days here. I feel like it's going to get so dark in here. I'm going to continue and if it does, whatever. Let's talk about where I've been and why it's been a month since I made a video. I'm kind of disappointed in a way, like in myself, because I promised at the very beginning of making a YouTube channel, I promised and I said that no matter how sick I get or how in pain I am, I'm going to make a YouTube video every week. Well, that's easier said than done. So about a month ago is when it started happening. Obviously, you know, I work from home and I have an office in my apartment. So I'm sitting at the desk, I'm working, and I start getting this weird pain in my right side of kind of like my hip on the side and my like lower back area. I look oily today. <laughs> I started getting a weird pain and I was like, what is that from? Is it, maybe it's from how I'm sitting. I'm sitting weird in the chair. Sometimes I sit like kind of like sideways 
and I have a big butt and I have wide hips and like the side of my chair whenever I sit kind of crooked I don't know why I do that but the chair will like push into my hip and like leave an indent that's how you know I'm sitting wrong and obviously that's why it hurts me being the way I am I ignored it I have a lot of health problems 90% of the time I'm in pain I'm used to being in pain so I didn't really think anything of it few days go by and it's still hurting and it's worse. <sighs> Trying to think of all these different things that I could have possibly done that made this hurt. At that time, I was almost for certain that it was Lily because when I walk her, she is very, very strong and she will pull me all over. She's gonna pull my shoulder out of place one of these days. She's a 70 pound dog. So, but then like a week goes by and this pain is so bad. I have a high tolerance of pain. Obviously, I have tattoos, I have piercings, I I deal with pain, chronic pain. This pain was so bad. It was like unlike anything I have ever felt in my entire life. And it got so bad to the point where I could not really walk. I couldn't bend over. You know when you pull a muscle like bad and it hurts to breathe and it hurts to get dressed and it hurts to shower and it hurts to just move and to sleep and do everything and you have to sit on a heating pad basically all day. It felt like that, but so much worse. Literally equivalent to breaking a bone. What is going on? Let's not forget I'm doing an eyeshadow look. <laughs> so I need to learn how to work and talk. I'm gonna take this crease brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna put it all over my crease and all over my lid. So right off the bat, it's picking up the color really well. There is fallout, but not as much as I thought there was gonna be. And fallout's normal, especially if it's highly pigmented, there's gonna be fallout. So I'm blending this and the color is kind of like disappearing. So the pain, it was very, very bad. I ended up working on the couch. Now, mind you, in my office, I have three screens. So I'm pretty spoiled. To move into my living room and use just my laptop screen, which is much smaller than my monitors, I was like, wow, what a difference. The pain was so bad, I could not even sit in my chair. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. It hurt so bad that I could barely eat, I could barely sleep. I really was not getting any sleep, maybe three hours. And I had to sleep in a really awkward position with like a huge body pillow in between my legs and it was just a bad time. One morning I woke up, I couldn't even move. I tried to shower and I was screaming. I couldn't even use soap in the shower because I couldn't bend over. I couldn't move. I literally felt like I was becoming paralyzed as crazy as that sounds because I just couldn't move. I wasn't mobile. So I, my, now I'm going to be taking my Morphe M40. My Morphe M441, 441, whatever. I'm gonna go in and blend out the top of this with this yellow right here. I'm very lightly brushing it on because I don't want it to overpower the orange. So now I'm gonna go back in with that orange color that I put in my crease and I'm just gonna put a little bit more in the crease and blend it, really blend it into the yellow. So I woke up, showered, couldn't really shower, couldn't get dressed, I'm sitting there and I have literally a panic attack because I'm in so much pain. I've never experienced anything like this. I sit on the bed trying to catch my breath and I get a bloody nose. I don't ever get bloody noses. The last time I had a bloody nose was like seven years ago. And then I had this clear, thick liquid that started pouring out of both of my nostrils at the same time. And it wasn't like a booger or snot. It was weird. I've never experienced anything like it. It was coming out of both nostrils at the same time. And then from there, I went into like full blown panic attack. Cause I'm like, what is going on with my body? I reached out to a few of my close friends because they have either RN family members or they are an RN. And every single one of them was like, you need to go to the ER now. Well, Danny was at work and we are currently sharing a vehicle. 
So I texted him a million times. He never sees my text when I need him to because he's so busy and he cooks, you know what I mean? He can't really be stopping, delaying customers from eating because I'm texting. So I ended up calling his work. He's like, Is, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm, I need to go to the hospital. He's like, I'm on my way, I'm leaving right now. And now I'm gonna go in with this brush, the BH1, the number six, and I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'm gonna put it all over my lid. So we get to the hospital. Usually I go to the one that's over by his parents' house because they're so nice there and fast. And the one where I live, they have a horrible bedside manners and it usually takes a really long time. So I went to the hospital. I have a lot of tattoos. I don't know why, but people judge the hell out of me when I go to the hospital. I guess they just assume that I'm there to get pain meds, which is never the case. And I'm like, do doctors get trained in school to judge people based on how they look? Cause I really truly believe that. My pain was my entire back, my neck, my spine, and my lower back. The entire thing, but like mostly it was, it was like my spine and my neck and then that area down there that I explained before. I told him about the bloody nose and about the pain that I'm in and how my neck hurts and my back and I'm just, I, I've never experienced any pain like this and I have a high tolerance to pain. He was like, let me look up your nose because of the bloody nose and I was like, I can't put my head back. He's like, just tilt your head back. And I'm like, I can't. He's like, oh, but I thought your lower back hurts. And I'm like, and my neck, I told you that. The facial expressions he was making and the way he like rolls his eyes and I flipped out. If you know how I am, that's all I need to say. I was like, I know you're not taking me seriously. I can tell by your face, but you need to because I'm in a lot of pain and I'm telling you, I can tell something is wrong. They did x-rays and blood work, but I didn't do anything else. And I expressed that my hip area, my pelvic area is where most of the pain is at this moment. Did they do an x-ray in that area? No, they didn't. Every time I go to the hospital, I always tell them straight up, I don't want pain meds, do not give me any. I just want tests done because I want to know what's going on. It's so annoying. So long story short, it was a UTI. I ended up going back to the doctor, getting another opinion. I had a kidney infection, which explains why I was in so much pain, but I have never had a UTI where I'm almost immobile. Like I can't even move around. And I've talked to people and they have said, yes, they can get really bad. My doctor actually wants me to get more tests on because he thinks it might be something else. He even said the doctor at the ER is like a quack. Of everything that I described, it's there's no way it's just a UTI. Also, I hope this is not TMI for you guys, but if it is, I'm sorry, not sorry. Now, I was in so much pain where I had to literally work from my couch for three and a half weeks while sitting on a heating pad. It was a struggle. There was no way that I was able to make a YouTube video. I wanted to so badly. I do want to make this a career eventually and I know that I will have to execute videos every single week, sometimes twice a week or more in order for me to finally get there to that point. So when I was in that pain, I just was like, I felt so useless and discombobulated and frustrated. I wasn't able to help with the cleaning. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't go to the beach. It was just kind of like depressing. And then I got in this like funk. So now I'm gonna go in with the Midnight Festival palette with this Morphe M518 brush. And I'm gonna go in with this color. And I'm just gonna lightly put it in the crease to blend out this blue. After a few weeks of antibiotics and just putting a heating pad on it, babying it and doing everything, you know, that I can, it finally started going away. I'm starting to feel a lot better. I don't know if I like how these are blending. Now I'm just blending out the blue on this side. I'm just going back over that blue. Everything is kind of like blurring together. I think these eyeshadows are the kind that are good if you're just using two colors. 
Going over that orange and yellow with that yellow that I used. This color, I need to add that somewhere. Exactly what I needed. My scrunchie matches really good too. <laughs> I'm gonna have to for sure do another look with these palettes. Maybe something a little more simple. It's been a long time since I've sat here and played with makeup and I'm just gonna go in with a tiny little bit of the black just right in my like outer corner. Just a little scotch. <laughs> the reason I'm using this brush and not for concealer is because I need something very precise that I can get right in the crease and all of my other brushes are dirty. Now to blend that back out, cause it looks super messy, I'm going back in with that dark orange, kind of red. I don't wanna cut my crease because I feel like that would just be too much. So I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Goals with like a little Morphe eyeliner brush. I'm just gonna put it in the crease. I know most people make this really thin when they do it, but I like it how I'm doing it right now. I'm kind of like dragging the ends so it looks like it's disappearing because I don't want to go all the way over. All right, so I just finished the gold in the crease, brought it up a little bit. Now I'm going to do my brows, my face, my lips, and I'll be right back. Well, this is the finished look and I am really happy with how it turned out. It's the exact colors of the inspiration that I was going off of. The colors are very pigmented. However, they do get a little muddy. So you have to really build it up, build it up, blend it out, blend it out. Either way, I will be using this palette again. I do wanna do some other looks with the palette, just using one or two colors, um, maybe three, but no more than four because it was a process. <laughs> So I'm gonna pop in the picture right here. And this was my inspiration. Most of you know, it is a album cover to Brand New, which I love them so much. If you don't know who they are, shame on you. And you need to go check them out, okay? Definitely recommend checking out this album first. So the reason that I did this look based on this album cover is because I decided to make it more fun when I start doing eye looks. I'm gonna start putting my phone on shuffle. The very first song that pops up, I'm gonna do my eye look accordingly to the album art. No matter what, whatever the song is, I'm gonna do that eye look using the exact colors on that Last album. Last week, I put my phone on shuffle. The very first song to pop up was by this band. The song is called Sick Transit Gloria so good and I was like how fun would that be to use those colors so now that's what I'm gonna do from now until I don't know when I'm gonna hit shuffle whatever song comes up no cheating I'm not gonna change it I'm just gonna stick with it and I will do the eye look according to what it looks like on that album and I think that's really fun and it gives me inspiration it gives me ideas it lets my creative juices flow. If any of you want to like recreate my look, don't copy my idea though. You can recreate my look, but don't be copying my ideas, okay? Thanks. I think that you guys should totally recreate this look. I want to see it. Tag me in it, please, please, please. I was gonna put earrings on and a necklace, but it's Sunday, I'm like, do I really want to do that? Probably not. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate it very, very much. I love you all so much. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I love you, and I will see you in my next video.